The long-awaited video boost feature is finally here on the Pixel 8 Pro and I'm gonna put it head-to-head -head against the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which I'm actually using to record this video with. But first, to enable video boost on your Pixel 8 Pro, make sure you're running the December update and make sure everything is up to date in the Google Play Store. Once you did that, you should see video boost under the video settings of your Pixel 8 Pro. If you don't, keep on waiting because it's still apparently rolling out and it's quite slow. So how Video Boost works is that once you enable it and you record a video with that toggle turned on, that video will then be uploaded into Google uh, Photos and then from there it will start the actual processing. Once the processing is done, you're left with two video files, one of which is the non-boosted video and the other is the boosted video. There are still quite a few limitations with Video Boost, and I think it's important to know this, and I, I wrote it down so I don't forget. So the first of which is that it only works in 4K30, not 4K60. The second limitation is that once you've recorded a video with Video Boost turned on, the original video will be downgraded to 1080p, and the Video Boosted video will continue to be at 4K30. I have no idea why it's downgrading the original video, why not just keep it at 4K30 because you're already recording in 4K30. Anyway, moving on. The third limitation is that Video Boost does not work with the front facing camera, it only works with the rear camera. The fourth limitation is that it doesn't even work with all of the rear cameras, it only works with the main rear camera. So no video boost for ultra wide and no video boost for telephoto, which again makes no sense because it is just processing. Now the fifth and final limitation, the most annoying one, is that it's going to take you hours to get the video boost back to your phone to be able to play back. For example, this 13 second comparison that I shot on Twitter took nearly four hours to process four hours that's that's insane so now that you guys know all the limitations for video boost i'll shut up now and let you guys see the comparison between the non-boosted the boosted and the iphone 15 pro max All right, so now uh, the sun has set. It is pretty much almost nighttime. Uh, from what it looks like, uh, both phones are showcasing it brighter than it actually is. However, I'm really interested to see how well the Pixel handles uh, nighttime because it's supposed to have night sight video with uh, the video boost function enabled. So hopefully the stabilization is nice. If my voice is shaky, it's because it is tremendously cold outside. <laughs> very, very cold. Uh, I should have probably put on a jacket. But yeah, let's see how well this handles. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Again, I'm not trying to make this video too long. 
uh, because it takes hours upon hours for video boost to uh, to process a very short clip so um, I'm curious to see how long this uh, one minute clip is going to take in fact I'll put the answer uh, um, right now ah gorgeous sunset all right well I'm heading back now I'm too cold uh, so hopefully you guys now understand what Video Boost does. Let me know uh, down below what you guys think. Uh, is it worth it uh, to wait uh, many, many, many hours for a video to be brighter? Um, from what I noticed, the real differences are at night. During the daytime, I honestly cannot tell a difference uh, between Video Boost and uh, just normal recording. Uh, from from experience, I think Video Boost just kind of makes the colors pop a little bit more, but that really shouldn't take hours of processing. Um, anyway, yeah, let me know. Ah, gorgeous sunset. All right, well, I'm heading back now. I'm too cold. Uh, so hopefully, you guys now understand what Video Boost does. Let me know uh, down below what you guys think. Uh, is it worth it uh, to wait uh, many, many, many hours? for a video to be brighter. Um, from what I noticed, the real differences are at night. During the daytime, I honestly cannot tell a difference uh, between video boost and uh, just normal recording. Uh, from, from experience, I think video boost just kind of makes the colors pop a little bit more, but that really shouldn't take hours of processing. Um, anyway, yeah, let me know. So from what I can tell, the non-boosted video looks dramatically worse compared to the boosted video, which is not really a fair comparison because, again, you're recording in 4K30, but after you finished recording, the original video is downgraded to 1080p, and here's the proof, which, again, makes no sense. Why are they downgrading the original video to 1080p? It... it, it it, I, I, I honestly do not know. If, if you know, please let me know because that is very strange. Because for whatever reason, if the video boosted video has some weird artifacting, or maybe you just don't like the way it looks and you, you would rather keep the original video, well, now it's at 1080p and it looks dramatically worse compared to if you were just recording in normal 4K. Again, this makes no sense. Please, someone explain it to me. But aside from that, let me know what you guys think about Video Boost. Was it overhyped? Was it exactly what you were expecting? And I want to know how long are your wait times? Because I don't even feel like taking a long video. And when I say a long video, I mean like just a, a couple minutes. Because it's going to take you sometimes overnight for the video to process. If you took it right before you went to bed, for example. So it's, it's, it's a long, long time. But let me know what you guys think about the video boosted feature against the iPhone 15 Pro Max's normal recording mode. Uh, is it dramatically better? Is it just okay better? Uh, or is it basically the same? Let me know. For more tech videos, definitely click that subscribe button. It's absolutely free to you, but it helps me and the channel out a lot, and I always truly appreciate it. And if you did enjoy today's video, click that like button. This was Mark from Arkstack. Adios.